ASCII Entertainment presents a now loading screen. Welcome to my edition of Let's Play Clock Tower for the PlayStation. My friend originally recommended this for me back in October of last year because I wanted to play a scary game and he told me this really freaked him out when he played. I thought it was really fun. I fell in love with the characters and everything. Ooh, a movie. Let's watch. Come on, schoolgirl Jennifer. You can get away from evil beetle thing. Boom. <laughs> Clock Tower. The evil murder of Lazarus. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant Sounds crazy, pair of but it looks crazy, but it looks like they were killed giant with a giant scissors. pair of scissors. Once again, search for prey. Scissors gotta eat. The trail of terror stretches across the earth from Norway to England. That's a long way. There it is, the Barrow's Mansion. We have to go there and look around, or we'll never solve the mystery of scissors. You've got to be joking. Way too dangerous. As long as he's alive, we're not seeing anything. One after another, the horrifying Gary. Bye, Beth. Bye, Rick. We'll make it through this game of murder alive. I will. I hope. Clock, Clock tower. tower. This game is old. Fear is fascinating. Unless you're experiencing it yourself. Alright, let's get this show on the road. Start a new game. Prologue with Samuel Barton. Scary wavy red lines. <laughs> Professor Barton. Professor Barton. If this is Professor supposed to be what Barton. Jennifer experiences, what on earth are you why doing, do we Professor? see her? <laughs> you mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen. The clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. I'm glad someone cares about Jennifer. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Is that some kind yes, of threat? Professor. What a jerk. Alrighty. What do we got here? The clock tower murders. The mass murder of over ten victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. I bet you're not married. You don't care about anyone. Alrighty. Hmm, there is a faint smell of ammonia. Are you keeping diapers in your lockbox? A giant pair of scissors is on the desk. They are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower case. These are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims. 
That was fun. Let's get out of here. My laboratory. Lately, I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm, the staff is still here. Even though I don't pay them overtime because they are merely things to further my research. Okay, let's talk to Ben. Professor, Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry. Hmm. Mm, do we get to know why? Guess not. You know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you live together. One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way of research. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Uh, yes, yes, you're right. Don't want to upset the boss. I wish I had a cute kid sister, a cute kid brother. Would be okay too. Fascinating. What's this? A statue. It is cold. One of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders. Seems to be hiding some sort of secret. How would you know that? It would be a good idea to get an expert opinion on this. Expert. I can't talk today. Alright. Oh, hello, Barton. You're awfully close to the camera. What's this? Rubber mask. Kind sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular. People certainly buy stupid things. Let's talk to Mr. Argyle over here. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock tower murders, isn't it? Humph! I guess they want to sensationalize this scissor man who really doesn't exist. Even exists. Scissor man? It'd be cool if he were real. Huh? Uh, um, just a joke. Uh... You shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Alright, we gotta go look at Helen's desk, maybe. Woo. And Harris's desk. Don't look at the mask. Great. He looked at the mask. <sighs> okay. I just want to get out of this room. It's hard. Harris's desk. Clipped out articles of the clock tower story are scattered about. It seems Harris has gone somewhere. Can I leave now? Cross your fingers. I can. Uh, don't you love the birds chirping? Chirp, 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 chirp. Harris. Oh, Professor! A newspaper reporter was looking for you on the first floor. That's why I'm standing by the women's bathroom. Oh, thank you. Okay, I want to play as Jennifer, so let's talk to him again. Um, is Jennifer... She's already gone home. Was there something you wanted to see her about? Um, uh, no. He's always so gloomy. Top notch though, that's for sure, but then... Then what? Is everyone psychotic in this game? 